In the last two years, Chainlink has become one of the most popular projects in the entire crypto ecosystem, with a large community of followers that hodl the native link token in much the same way that preppers hodl canned vegetables. But what problem does Chainlink solve and how does it work? And what's the purpose of the Chainlink token link? Join us as we take a close look and ask the question, what is Chainlink? Arguably the most game-changing innovation in the crypto space after the creation of Bitcoin has to be the development of smart contracts. Smart contracts were originally proposed by Ethereum's legendary founder and programmer Vitalik Buterin and are basically lines of code that allow two parties to execute an agreement without the need of a third party. So picture selling your house to somebody that you've never met with no real estate agent in the middle, just a trusty algorithm that both parties can rely on. But most smart contract platforms are isolated on an individual blockchain and are unable to connect with external data feeds. This would make smart contracts unable to react to real world events. For example, when a goal is scored in a football match, that changes the odds on a betting platform. Chainlink solves this issue with its network of decentralized data providers, otherwise known as oracles. This continuous feed of live data comes from multiple sources that are spread all around the world, making it more reliable. To take part in the network, the data providers are actually required to stake the platform's native link token. And from that point, they can earn rewards by providing accurate information or have their stakes slashed if they send false information. So this incentivizes cooperation and keeps the network secure from bad actors. As more and more smart contract platforms go live on their respective blockchains, Chainlink and other smaller Oracle providers like Van Protocol, DAI and Teller should find their services very much in demand. Within the Oracle space, Chainlink actually has the benefit of first mover advantage and larger amounts of funding. The popularity of the project among investors comes from the huge amount of working partners that Chainlink has already amassed. Almost every Ethereum-based DeFi project from Aave to Yarn Finance actually relies on Chainlink's supply of live prices in order to do things like adjust their lending and borrowing rates. Chainlink is also a key component of many blockchain platforms, including industry movers like Binance and Polkadot. This impressive list of partnerships also extends outside of the blockchain world, as Chainlink boasts business relationships with Swift, Google Cloud, and Intel. Also, a strategic purchase of Deco, a project that improves how data is sent securely over the internet, suggests that Chainlink is actually interested in providing data solutions for larger private enterprises that want a guarantee of protection for potential confidential data. So if it achieves this, Chainlink could be one of the first blockchain startups that achieves true mainstream adoption in the corporate world. Despite all the positive developments around the project, Chainlink has actually received some negative press. The project faced accusations of centralization when it pointed out that just 125 wallets control 80% of the total link supply. On the surface, this suggests that the integrity of the network could be manipulated by a relatively small group of token holders. But upon closer inspection, 35% of this wealth is held in one wallet from which node operators are actually compensated. So over time, it should continue to be more widely distributed. A further 25% of the tokens belong to the Chainlink team and are slated to be used as funding for development, which should benefit the platform in the long run. Another factor to consider is that unlike with many other projects, Chainlink's native token is not used for governance, so a concentration of funds in fewer wallets doesn't necessarily mean that the project is centralized. In fact, each individual network in the Chainlink ecosystem is actually free to implement its own governance scheme. Let us know your Chainlink price prediction in the comments below and any juicy Chainlink news we may have missed. And if this video helped you understand Chainlink a little bit better, then give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more crypto videos from Exodus.